When the sun rose again to find us alone in the chill of the morning, in the chill of your home. The whole idea with this mission is surf the streets, surf the lakes, surf something. And in that spirit, there's no way that we can be within a couple hundred yards of this legendary location and not stop and take advantage of it. Ah, oh, I was so happy when you showed me that. I was, I was thinking, what is it, drainage ditch? And, and it's, no, that was so much fun. I wish that we had more time there and that it was smoother because we could have really had some fun there. To, to be out just street skating with Paul is a blast, but you, you would never realize how good he is in pools and transition and skating bowls. And he's, a, he's an incredible skater. And uh, for his youth, he is definitely ripping, definitely ripping. We need a big broom, a little time, and a little smooth coat. The transition is always going to be weird like that, especially with so fast a radius. It was just a little rough, a little dangerous. Yeah. Tore the sole off my shoe. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> And then what we didn't expect after we finished up there as the sun was setting, we got back on the road and by chance there was just a, a, a slight grade. So there was no way we could hop back in that bus. So we headed down the road and literally s skated nonstop without even having to put our foot down for probably 30 to 35 minutes into the sunset in the desert with this group of guys. And like so many of the other experiences, this really stood out as a highlight of the trip. Then on our 40-hour tour, we had an In-N-Out Virgin, Mark, never had a burger. I'd like to say he enjoyed it. I don't recall all that much of the In-N-Out experience. <laughs> As our travels carried us from New Mexico into Texas and through El Paso, we realized the Rio Grande River separating the United States from Mexico was only 10 or 15 miles to the south. So the, the question was, how do we get to it? But El Paso is not a paddle-friendly place. As anybody who's read the newspapers would know, you're not gonna be able to paddle the Rio Grande anywhere close to El Paso. So just as we're about to jump across the first trench towards the Rio Grande River, we turn around, and here comes Border Patrol barreling down the dirt road our way. 